Bell, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Trevor. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, I'm happy to have you here because you know it's 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 rare that you meet people like right at the beginning of what I believe will be like just an amazing career. You you're not just a fantastic actor, but you're on a show that has just been renewed for a second season. Yes, Congratulations. Thank you very much. Let's start with that foundation, the show. What did you know about it before you auditioned to be part of like this mega franchise that Apple is building now? I mean, I didn't know much about it. I told my dad when I got the audition that I had this audition for a sci-fi called Foundation and he was like, <gasps> I love it. He had read all the books. He was like, you know, me and Asimov have the same PhD. Da 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 da. And I think actually that's what got me my second audition because I mentioned that in the first audition, and they were wow. like, we love that. And it worked. So thank you, Dad, for that. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's so exciting. So I didn't know this before I started watching it, but I didn't know that the 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 books that it's based on are actually the books that inspired Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, what I love is that your story is almost as interesting as your character's story because I, I meet few people who I think are as much citizens of the world as you are. <laughs> you are born in Spain, your, your father's Spanish. Yeah, I was right? born in Zimbabwe. Born in Zimbabwe, yes. okay, lived in Spain. Mm -hmm. All right, so father's Spanish, mom is Zimbabwe. Right, mm -hmm. so you're born in Zimbabwe, live in Spain. Yeah. Then move to South Africa. When I was eight. Okay, then you live in South Africa, then you move to the UK. Yeah. Because, you know, the world, for those who don't know, foundation is this, is this, it's like this future dystopian, but not dystopian world where everything is ending, but possibly beginning. And your character plays, you know, in many ways, like you said, you, your version of life. She's going to be everywhere. For sure. That must have tied in in a cool way. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. I, uh... Also, like, leaving home, South Africa... Yes, exactly. ...to move to the UK to do this job and to, and to you know, work really hard to try and do this, which I thought is something I wanted to do all my life, and mm -hmm, I feel mm -hmm. very grateful to be here. I mean, I'm sure that you have a similar, you know, experience, like, your career has taken off. I right. Mean, I remember, like, 10 years ago... Sorry, I have to bring this up, but, like, you did a show in Peter Maritzburg where... Yes. I'm... That's where I grew up. Uh-huh. And I remember watching that and being, like... And then watching your career, like explode and I was like oh my goodness oh thank you that's so cool like thank you were you really much. a role model and it made me believe that I could do that coming from a place like South Africa oh wow you know? thank you and very much for that yeah and had I'm I known that, that, I that you were this. watching my career like that I would have thought it was too much pressure and I would have just failed on purpose <laughs> to get out from under the thing but thank no, you for but that it's true but I think like people that come from where we come from a country like South Africa it kind of can seem a bit you know that you can't reach the stars and reach yeah. everything yeah. else and you know I hope to be an inspiration for people as well as I you think, are. I think you are already, <laughs> genuinely, because that's what I love about, like, foundation and the stories. For it's sure. this world where it's, like, somebody who is told that they're in a small world and small can go on to become something so big. Exactly. You know, you, you're playing this huge role. I, I was fascinated by this, though. Like, is it true that the audition process was, like, five days? Yeah, so I did, like, three rounds, and the last one was five days in Ireland in Limerick, which is a... If you know Ireland, it's a very small little town. Right. Um, and it was six of us going out for the same role. And we all, they try to keep us apart, but we all kind of found each other. I mean, it's not very difficult in Limerick, because, I mean, there was, like, a bunch of us brown girls. <laughs> and so we literally came out of the hotel, and we'd get, go for breakfast and be like, you... You must be... You know, like, the... Yes, The yes. Spider-Man meme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and it was amazing. It was... Of course, we were all, like, kind of competing. But we found this, like, weird connection because we were all women of colour in a situation which we don't usually find ourselves. Which is, like, in a sci-fi audition, yeah, especially. Yeah, very often. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there were six of us, and it was, like, the most incredible, like, inspiring, you know, thing. And we would... Like, we have a group chat. Wait, we, we, like, you, you guys are still friends? We, yeah, we still text, yeah. And um, they're all brilliant actresses. And it was just, like, the most amazing experience. It was tough and harrowing. Right. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but it was a cool environment, actually. Let's talk a little bit about that part of it, because you have women who are playing roles that were in the book men, mm -hmm. and then obviously race almost becomes irrelevant in the casting of the people, yeah. which makes it more interesting. Was that refreshing for you to play a role where it was just like, oh, it's about you being a math genius Completely. who happens to be brown? Exactly. Brown and a woman, right. which I don't think is very, you know... And it's amazing to be able to be this powerful woman, young woman, in this world which is run by white men, you know, in that world. Right, right, right. <laughs> not this not, world. Not, not this world, of <laughs> course. World. No, no, we're talking about the fictitious yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we... I, I, and it's amazing to be able to do that and show that there's power in, like, 
working things out with your brain and right. not just like a physical, you know, fighting and stuff, which is still pretty cool, I think. Yeah. But yeah, so that was really great. What I wanted to know is how many people have noticed you playing a cameo <laughs> in the show? It is you, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm in the background of episode three. Yes. It's when Hugo like flies in and the kids are like, running past and they run past me. Right. They did a very good job of making me someone else because okay. I am okay. not Gail in that scene. Okay. But I was so desperate to be on that set because that set was like literally life-sized. You know, none of that was VFX. Like except for the ship coming yeah. in, it was all like real. So um, you just wanted to go I there. just wanted to be on that set and I begged <laughs> David Goya and Alex Graves and I was like, please let me. And they did, which was amazing. And if you look very carefully, I like you that. can see me in the background. Thank you so much for joining me on the show. Thank you And congratulations on all your success. Thank you. All right, season one of Foundation is available right now on Apple TV Plus.